Where are we? Ow. I think we're in a closet. A closet? Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Uh, where's the door? Uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. uh, I can't tell if we're at the back or the front. Um, I don't see anything back here. Okay. Um, hey, Candy, calm down. What's going on? I'm just not really comfortable right now. Uh, Candy, are you claustrophobic? It's not that. It's just... Uh, I mean, just get out of here. Oh, you know he's Candy. You found the exit. Uh, is he okay? <sighs> well, hmm. Doesn't seem to be much be going on in this room. Yeah, I don't know. Chap, are you all right? Yeah, my mom. Okay. Something you want to talk about? Yeah, I mean, if you're claustrophobic, it's something to be a big deal about. I'm just kind of surprised you didn't go all claustrophobic when you were in the freezer. Uh, yeah, it's it's just a different thing. It's a long story. Look, we just don't have the time to talk about it right now. Maybe later. Hmm. All right. Hmm, let's see where we're at. <sighs> Whoa. Is this a hotel? Yeah, I think we're in a hotel of some kind. Huh. Hmm. Maybe we could go talk to the receptionist. Uh, hello? Anybody there? Huh. No bell to ring. Okay, I guess there is a bell to ring. How did I miss that? Is that a ghost bell? Why, hello there! Ah! Shadow Freddy? That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> if I met you before, stranger, you don't look familiar. Oh. Right, um, hey man, listen, we need a place to stay for the day. Well, you've come to the right place, my dear. This is the Shadow Duo's Haunted Hotel. Haunted? Wait, what? Yeah, uh, the place is haunted. Like, just like, uh, like, uh, uh, out of the blue? No, that's just the, you know, appeal. Everyone loves a certain little experience, and everyone's wanted to be at a haunted hotel, so we figured, you know, let's start a haunted hotel. Because some people just like the thrill. How many customers do you guys get on average? Not many, but you know, tourists come around. That's good to hear. Uh, hey guys, come here! Yeah, what's up? So apparently we stumbled into a hotel, and I figure, you know, I'll treat us to a nice place to stay for the night. Phew, yeah, honestly, we have been kind of uppity and going since the whole start of this adventure. We do need a rest. Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. As long as I don't gotta be anywhere near that closet. What closet? Oh, it's nothing. All right, well, we'll take care of the paperwork. Uh, why don't you show them to their room? All righty. Come on, guys. Well, isn't this nice? Nice little night away in a hotel. Yeah. So, do you want to pay in cash or card? Uh, put it on my tab. Huh? Tab? You can pay it off soon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, if, it, if I like this place enough, I'll come back in a week and I'll pay it again. Mm, okay. <laughs> Dumbass, I don't live in this dimension. Uh, enjoy your room. Uh, yeah, right this way to your room. I got you too good, didn't I? Up top, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are a couple of our ghost friends we picked up along the way. Good ghost friends? Yeah, it's a part of the whole appeal. You get to stay with real genuine ghosts and have a really nice night. Trust me, they won't bother you in your rooms. It's more like just a thing you can, you know, come out in the lobby for. <sighs> I'm gonna get a migraine. All right, enough joking around. Uh, let me show you guys your room. Be sure to put on some holy water when you leave. I hear that some of the ghosts like to get extra attached. <laughs> All right, well, here's the room you'll be staying in. Ah! Not the closet again! Huh? Oh, yeah, well, sorry, bud, every room comes with a closet. We like to give people a place to put their stuff. Uh, something wrong with that? No, for some reason he's just afraid of closets. I don't know if it's a cl cl closet phobia? Closet phobia? We're gonna go with that. No, no, it's, whatever, it's fine, just, just go. Oh, uh, alright, uh, have a nice day. Look, man, if you're afraid of closets and you just need to say it, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just a little strange. I'm not afraid of closets, okay? I'm afraid of what's in them. Huh? What are you talking about? You know Monsters, Inc. wasn't a real movie. I know Monsters, Inc. isn't real. I don't think Sully's gonna pop out of the closet. It's just... When I was younger, me and my sister had a lot of experience with the closet monster. A closet monster? Well, it wasn't really a monster. 
you know, sleep paralysis demons. It was kind of like that. It just, every night it just came and it scared us and it scared us and we kept telling dad about it and it just, it never went away. And, well, you'd have to worry about it after we were fostered. After you were what? Listen, it's just kind of a lot to get into. Just, I wouldn't worry about it. Mm. All right. You sure you're going to be okay sleeping in here tonight? Yeah, I'll get over it, I guess. Hey, man. It's okay. Me and Springtrap will be right here with you. And now that I'm saying that out loud, I realize that we are only in one full-size bed, so we will quite literally be right here with you. <sighs> All right. Ugh, all right, guys, got the finances taken care of, and now we can hit the haystack. How'd you pay? You didn't bring your wallet. I told him to put it on my tab. See, the joke is I'm not going to pay for it because I don't live here. Oh, smart. You think there's some alternate dimension spring trap that's going to have to pay for your hotel bill? Maybe, but I don't really care. <sighs> can we turn the light off? Oh, uh, right. <sighs> All right. All right, good night, you two. Okay, then. Good night, Candy. Damn closet. It's not even like it's got a door over it. It's just got a drape. It's okay, Candy. Monsters aren't real. Even if they were, they can't hurt you. Because, I mean, why why wouldn't that, that monster have hurt me before? It just likes to watch. receptionist room. Oh, uh, you know what? This is probably a dream. Yeah, whatever. They do say that what you dream about is what you thought about in the last five minutes, whether it was subconsciously or unsubconsciously. Ugh, everything's all dark. Could they not have given me a more visible dream? Hey, Spark! Good morning! <laughs> come on! Come on! Sit with the old pops! Come on! Huh? Come on! Come sit with the old pops! Gets the game last night? Uh, no, I, I didn't. Well, you know, the Yankees gave him one, too, like they always do. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice, Dad. What are you doing here? I'm doing what I always do. Sit around and watch the old games. Where's your sister? Tell her breakfast is ready. Oh, uh, uh, all right. Nothing special, just frozen waffles again, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> I gotta go out and buy some fruit for you kids. Is Cindy here? She'll be around here somewhere. Go find her in her room. Alright. Alright, Dad. <sighs> really had to give me the family memory dream that I was anxious about ghosts. Yeah, we got you again! <laughs> uh, we're gonna give the poor kid a heart attack at this rate. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Ah, we like to invade people's dreams. This is what I was talking about when I was telling you ghosts like to get attached to people. <laughs> what, ghosts can invade people's dreams? Yeah, that's what they normally do. Wait, so are all people in dreams ghosts? 
Well, kinda. Sometimes they're just memories, or they are ghosts. Sometimes a little bit of both. Why? You seen someone from your past? My pops, actually. He's sitting right there on the couch. Huh. Wonder how that happened. You from around here? Well, no, but I'm just wondering why he's here. Could simply be a memory. Or perhaps a more powerful ghost has manifested a couple ghosts in your mind. Oh man, I just realized your father died, didn't he? Yeah, when me and my sister were kids. He uh, died mysteriously one night. So I don't know what happened to him. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe you'll figure it out. If that really is his ghost, then... I have a lot to think about. Where are you going? Pop said to find my sister, so I'm just doing what he asked. Oh, well, good luck, kid. <laughs> He's gonna need it. Hmm? Who's there? Cindy! Oh, hi, Candy. Hey, how you doing? <sighs> Even if this is just a dream, this is nice. Oh, pretty good. How about yourself? <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. Wow, I can't believe Candy is in my dream. It's nice to see you. What did you just say? Huh? Oh, uh, you know, we're just in a dream and all. It's just nice to see you. I, I, you're, in, I, I, you're in my dream. What? But no, you're in my dream. Oh. Candy? Cindy? <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. I can't believe it's really you. What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? Jinx. jinx. Double jinx. <laughs> I missed you. The other question is, what are we doing in each other's dream? Yeah. God, this gets into some really weird stuff. I don't know, but one day I just woke up in the middle of this weird city and uh, I don't know. I've been doing what I can to get by. I don't know what happened. Look, Cindy, it's a lot to explain, but we're in the multiverse. The multiverse? Yeah, you know those things from movies and books and stuff? Oh, yeah. That's so weird. Wait, so... Let me get this straight. We're in it? Like, we're in a different universe? Yeah, that's where you ended up. And I followed you. And I guess we're in the same universe now. Or something. I don't really know how dreams would work. I don't even know how you're in my dream, let alone how that works with the multiverse. Maybe we're in the same place now. Where are you at? Oh, something called the Shadow Duo's Haunted Hotel. I know where that is. It's only a couple blocks from where I'm at. A random local tourist attraction. Oh my god, I can't believe you're here. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, <laughs> you've been working out a little bit. Why? You noticed? Yeah, dang, that hug was tough. Just been doing what I can to entertain myself. Well, all right, let's wake up, and then you can come find me, and we can go home. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Um, how? You know, yeah, good point. Normally, when I realize I'm in a dream, I don't wake up much long after. But we're still in a dream. You seen Pops yet? He's over on the couch. On the couch? Oh, all right. I just don't know why Pops is here. Hey, Dad. Ah, hey, kids. You get breakfast? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Good to hear, good to hear. <laughs> well, it is nice seeing him again after all these years. Come on, you're acting like you've seen a ghost. Come sit next to your pop. All right. Come on, Cindy. Okay. Hi, Dad. Hey, Cindy. <sighs> you guys all right? Um, yeah. We're fine, Dad. Just had a rough day today. Aw, oh, I hate to hear it. hate to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter as long as we're all together. Yeah, Dad. Yeah. Hear that? Yeah, I did. What are you two kids talking about? I just thought I heard a noise over there. Um, do you want to go check it out, Cindy? Uh, yeah, we should. See you, Pops. Be right back. Love you, too. <sighs> nice kid. This is exactly the layout of the hotel. Oh, really? I think it ran in the bathroom. Oh. Well, why don't we see what it is? <sighs> Doc Void. Cindy, wait up! That was something. Why would it want to go in here? 
It's so dark in here. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be anything too crazy. I just wonder why whatever that was would want to come in here. Ah! The door! Hey! Hey! Show yourself, coward! It's so nice to finally be able to speak to the two of you. You're real? Of course! How can I be a hallucination if the both of you could see me? I've always been there. I have a strange kind of passion of watching each other either. You don't even know it, but I've ruined both your lives in more ways than you can imagine. What are you talking about? Stop speaking like this, you freak! When I kill your father... dimension. How did you get here? Well, they say some ghosts like to stay attached. <laughs> you killed a dad. You're a monster! Well, Dada doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Since you were kids, your father's death and the foster care graduating high school and stupid little burger joints. I've been watching all of this.
Okay? Candy. You guys are. I'm sorry, Candy. About what? Everything. That's awful. What happened to you? It was a long time ago. And it's over now. So. That's what matters. Oh, right, I haven't introduced you guys yet. Uh, this is my sister, Cindy. Hi, nice to meet you. So you are... Oh, I'm Pop Goes the Weasel, and I'm Springtrap. Oh, nice. Sorry I got kind of involved in all the family drama there. Hey, it's all right. You guys are safe now. That's what matters. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be pretty scarred after all that. Well... Scars heal with the right medicine. I missed you too, Candy. All right, um, I guess we'll find Cindy when we wake up. Hmm? Wow, what a weird night. <sighs> hey, fellas, uh, sorry to disturb you, but there was a guest that wanted to come see you. Hi, Cindy. Hey there, if you're subscribed and would like to join one of my many wonderful channel members, click the join button down below. Also, if you'd like to get some cool swag based off my channel, check out TravisPushProductions.shop at any web browser and see what we have in stock. Thanks for watching!